In 2007, Sony released the Nick Cage superhero flick Ghost Rider, which was both spooky and cheesy in equal measure, and in 2012, it got a sequel, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. But since the rights to Ghost Rider have reverted to Marvel, there's been no sign of a third movie ever happening. Here's why Marvel won't give Ghost Rider another movie. Box Office Meh while the first Ghost Rider film earned a decent $228 million worldwide, the second only managed $132 million, which is less than Tony Stark carries in his wallet for petty cash. Yeah, big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Considering both films were also lambasted by movie critics, there's not much reason for Marvel to put out another Ghost Rider film when they have proven properties like Captain America and Spider-Man to focus on instead, not to mention new franchises like Captain Marvel and Black Panther. Nick Cage isn't interested Even if the stars somehow aligned and Marvel did decide to tackle a third Ghost Rider film with Cage, the actor has indicated he's not really all that keen to climb back on the motorcycle given the chance. As he told Collider, quote, I've said what I have to say. I don't want to say never. Anything's possible. But I doubt, highly, that I would be in a third installment of that. We're guessing most fans aren't exactly disappointed with that news. Television Though he's not on the big screen anymore, there are still some Ghost Rider stories being told in live action. They're just happening on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. You don't get to decide who deserves to die. I'm not the one who decides. The newest Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, is played by Gabriel Luna and has quickly become a fan favorite. Though ratings are down, the introduction of Ghost Rider has revitalized the show, providing a connection to the mystical side of the MCU, opened up by the big screen hit Doctor Strange. Team up, anyone? Marvel's Great Divide Fans hoping that Robbie Reyes' appearance in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. might be planting the seeds for the newest Ghost Rider to jump onto the big screen are probably going to be disappointed. Claims he made a deal with the devil. Which is nonsense. You know, the rationalist in me wants to agree, but Skull on Fire presents a pretty compelling argument for Hail Satan. So far, the events in the movies have had only a minor effect on the television series, while the stuff on the TV shows hasn't even been mentioned in the movies. I guess you guys haven't heard about me. This is probably because of a long-running power struggle between movie studio head Kevin Feige and Marvel president Ike Perlmutter, who is still in charge of the TV shows. As long as there continues to be backstage drama between the two, Ghost Rider is probably stuck where he is, on television and not in the movies. Johnny Blaze is old news The version of Ghost Rider that Nick Cage played, Johnny Blaze, seems to just be part of the current Ghost Rider's backstory in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Though Cage himself didn't appear on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the origin story for Robbie Reyes involved Robbie making a deal with the devil in order to save his brother's life. And you're right. There was someone there when I came to. But it wasn't a good Samaritan. It was the devil. Add in the fact that the show also teased Quentin Carnival, the carnival that Johnny Blaze works for, and it seems as though Johnny's story is just prologue in the MCU. Of course, Marvel could always do a prequel series about Johnny's time as Ghost Rider, but we sort of already have that in the form of Sony's two films. No more crap. The first Ghost Rider movie hit just before the comic book movie creative renaissance of the Marvel Cinematic Universe back when studios could still get away with releasing mediocre comic book adaptations. In terms of quality and tone, the Ghost Rider films have far more in common with last-generation superhero movies like Daredevil and Fantastic Four than they do with modern films like Iron Man or The Dark Knight. Given the poor reputation the Ghost Rider films have, it's unlikely Marvel would risk tainting their perfect record at the box office with a franchise that carries so much baggage. Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!